on my couch. Oh yeah. Or the blues match the um, the paintings on the wall. I'm gonna step behind you and just grab that palette just to show you. And again, it's sort of like, did you do the latch key rugs as a latch key? Latch rugs? Yes. Uh, yep. The hook rugs yes. as a kid or oh, paint did. by numbers? Yes, we did. And you would get one of those and you're like, oh man, there's like 20 colors in here. It's gonna take forever. <laughs> well, imagine true. 36. Well, yeah, but look at all the options that we have here. I mean, I assure you that you have something in your home that's going to match all of these beautiful colors. And again, you offer the most colors that we can find in a rug out at retail. Well, yes, yeah, so I'll talk about that real briefly. Most of the rug industry in the marketplace is made from or, or is comprised of machine made rugs. So what does that mean? That means that there's a gigantic loom. You're limited in the sizes that you can make because they're trying to print as much across that loom as possible and not print, but really um, to manufacture the rugs. And honestly, you can make a rug on a machine loom within half an hour or an hour. And, and that's about it. You sure. finish it a little bit, by the end of the day, you can have a ton of rugs. And, and that's fine, there's a place for those. But most of those are made out of polyester or propyl, uh, polypropylene and all. Ours are tufted by hand. They are made from 100% wool fiber. We are a very, very small segment of the entire rug manufacturing world who still do hand tufted rugs and still only use 100% wool pile. Right. So the it enables us to be able to say, all right, you know what? This particular design over here, a little bit simpler, 24 colors is enough. 30 or 32 colors is enough. This one we decided to do 36. But in one of those big machine made rugs, yeah. and that's what you mostly find out in the marketplace, Rochelle, six, eight, maybe 12 colors. Sure. And that's it. Right. They may look pretty, they may be totally fine for what you want, but if you really want a rug that's gonna be striking, that you know is gonna work no matter what room you put it into, the higher the number of colors, the better it's going to work, the more colorful obviously it's going to be, the more vibrant and the more unique it's gonna be. Now we do have several color sizes for you. I wanna run through those quickly because sure. we have an update in some of them because again, some have been a little bit more popular than others and clearance pricing on Royal Palace is the perfect opportunity for you today to get your home refreshed, not only for fall, but who are you having coming over for the holidays? Are you hosting Thanksgiving? Are the kids coming dressed up in their Halloween costumes? Are you gathering people for Hanukkah or for Christmas? What do you have coming up and you just are thinking, I need to refresh there's that one room. I want to add that one staple piece that really pulls my home together. Or maybe you have a royal palace rug that your kids are now getting married or going off on their own, and you want to gift to them because they love the nostalgia of it, and you just can't stand a pair but right. to part with yours. Yes. Um, but again, let's go through those sizes. So which one is this one here? This is our largest size that we can ship, <laughs> uh, so we can't make it any bigger, unfortunately. Eight feet six inches by twelve feet nine inches. This is available in Sage. If you have the big dining room table and the big great room, this is the rug for you. Now this one only has 100 left at this point to go around. And then what do we have here? Size down from that one is eight feet by 10 feet, six inches. Now this is gonna fit probably pretty much every dining room, family room, great room. It's also available in all four colors. So we're standing on the sapphire here. This is a color we just introduced last year. Most limited on the sapphire. We do have this available in Sage as well. Here's our burgundy color, kind of my personal pick. And I love blues. Almost every dress shirt I have ever worn has been a blue. But for <laughs> me, the dining right room, now. <laughs> I, yeah, uh, the dining room is, is a burgundy rug. For me, that's, that's the tradition. And then we do have it available in ivory. Ivory is, uh, customers really love this design in ivory. And this is the end of the opportunity to get ivory in this design. And this is also the eight by 10 six size. So we are not bringing in the ivory in this size anymore. W this design this is, is, this is it. Oh, wow. So okay. when, when this is gone, we it's, are not redoing this it. design. Yes. So then that's a very, very good reason to pick it up this morning. Yes. Now, okay, now let's go over here. Three more sizes left. This is our seven by nine. So as we get down in size, it does become a little bit more versatile because obviously a smaller rug can fit in more environments. Sure. Maybe you have a large living room where you've got hardwood floors in a dining room. Right. You don't want to cover up those beautiful hardwood floors. So show them off a little bit as a great border around right. the seven by nine that you see here. That's in Sage only. Uh, we have Sage and a few oh, Sapphire, right, but the Sapphire is last call right here um, in this size, which is? That's the seven foot by nine foot. Seven by nine, uh, Sage and Sapphire. Sapphire is officially last call. So if that's what you want, when the, when the color's gone, 
it's gone and this pattern is not coming back again. So let's talk about the runner, which I think everyone can use a really great substantial. Absolutely. This is a great size runner. Perfect size, two feet, three inches wide by nine feet, six inches long. So this is a great hallway rug, but People have found uses for these at the foot of the beds or the side of the beds. Yeah. When you wake up on a cold wintry morning, you're getting your toes into this great half inch thick wool pile that's nice and warm and cozy uh, or at a kitchen island or across the kitchen that's sink. That's where we have ours. Dan Hughes told me about uh, his and her bathrooms. Uh, oh, that's putting, brilliant. Uh, right now, sure. one thing I will recommend if you are putting a rug like this on a flat surface, you can see I can sort of scoot it pretty easily. Mm -hmm. uh, take a look at rug pads that we have available on QVC.com, put it underneath uh, the rug and that'll help keep it in place. They're not permanent, but they'll hold it in place as you need them. We do have less than a hundred of these now to go around. So if you love the runner, now would be the time to pick that one up. And, and then what do the we stage. have over here? And then this is my Goldilocks size. This is five feet by seven. This is available only in Sage, but it's our most popular color. And I think this is really one of the most versatile sizes because it can just go anywhere. You can put this in the foyer if you have it. Right. 100% wool pile will take the abuse of the door scraping it day in and day out and people walking on it day in and day out. You can put this into a master bedroom. As our houses got bigger over the years, people would move into a house and then you realize, geez, there's a lot of space kind of like over there. In the right. Master what do I do with it? What do you that? do with it? Create a little sitting area. Sure. Put it, take a chair, put it next to the rug, read before you go to bed. Toes are on this. Now this has less than two dozen to go around. This is the most limited option of the morning. What's the size on here again? Five by seven? Five by seven, yes. So if you love the five by seven option, the most versatile, um, and also when it's gone, it's gone. I do want to talk a little bit about that value again um, because this is an incredible opportunity. When you see the size that you like disappear, like the very first one there, that is gone the three by four. However, we still have the two by three would and nine by six or two three by nine six you excuse me that's the runner it's your first two hundred and fifty one dollars <laughs> thirty one cents that's the retail value um you're getting about half that twenty 124 dollars which is an incredible value there six easy monthly payments i invite you in to take advantage of those if you'd like of twenty dollars and sixty seven cents five by seven that is the most limited option less than two dozen to go around there normally for almost four hundred dollars there at retail less than two hundred this morning and again you do have six easy monthly payments all the way down thirty three dollars 17 cents there seven by nine um, seven hundred and sixty three dollars out at retail three hundred and thirty seven dollars here this morning or six easy monthly payments fifty six dollars 17 cents that eight by ten six that seems to be a really nice round way rounded out way to kind of do a formal dining room living room type yes, situation absolutely um, normally almost a thousand dollars which that is that's about what you would pay for a very high quality rug like that um, but just four hundred and sixty nine dollars and then last but not least the 8.6, the big one that you're standing on here, this is our this largest. One. That's almost $1,400 normally at retail. You're getting well over half off, $600 here or six easy monthly payments. So let's talk a little bit more about how these are made because they are different than what you're going to find anywhere else. Royal Palace does something that you, that no one else does. Yes, sure. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to go over to our, go our sapphire rug here. We'll kind of do um, what I like to call the Rick test because Rick Domeyer has been here at Q QVC for over 20 years, I believe, and has been a real proponent of our product. We actually had him over at our factory a number of years ago so he could really see how these rugs are made. First of all is, is the thickness of the rug, and that's what you see here. It's a half inch thick wool pile, and that's why customers have said that they're just so soft and plush and comfortable underfoot. Kids love playing on it, pets love laying on it because it's the most comfortable area in a room when you put a rug down. It's gonna be thicker than your broadloom carpeting. Obviously, right. it's gonna be more comfortable than sitting on hardwood floors. Of course. So this is that half inch thick wool pile. The yarn that's underneath, that's wrapped around that you see here, that's called a surged side. Now that's just a fine tailored finish that we put on our rugs. Other rug manufacturers who do make tufted rugs or knotted rugs will reserve this only for their most high-end rugs, the ones with commas in them. Mm -hmm. But for us, we do this on all of our rugs. Now, why do we do that? You see the, the cotton backing here, and I'll show it. It doesn't have to be pretty, but it, this is what really protects your floor, holds our rug together, so it's very important. But when I lay the rug down on the floor, you don't see a white 
cotton ring that goes all the way around. It's the backing is completely hidden on the floor. So that's why we do that surge edge. Now, Rick's test is that thick pile. When you go out and you see rugs like this in the marketplace right. and you fold them, you bend them like this, what do you see? You don't get down into the backing. It's so thick and plush that all you see is wool pile. And that's really the mark of how dense our rugs are. And density gives us two benefits. The first is clarity of design. It's just like talking about thread counts in sheets or uh, pixels on a digital camera on your phone. The higher the number, the better your picture. For us, the higher the density of wool pile, tufts of them put together, the better our picture looks, but also durability. Sure. So the more wool you have in a rug, the more durable it's going to be over time. That's why we've been here for 25 years and we have customers who say, I bought your rug, one of the first ones you ever did, and it's still in my dining room. Right, this is something that's substantial in your home. This is where you're gathering to have your family meals. This is a decor piece that people are going to remember, your kids are going to remember. Maybe you are starting out in a new home or maybe you have a family member who is. This is not only a really great piece to add, but this is memories built in. I mean, it's amazing what we attach our memories to decor wise and I do I remember the rugs in my great grandmother's home as a little girl I remember them in my grandmother's home it's one of those things that they do build this sense of remembrance for well, us you know we very few of us nowadays build our homes sure, that's you know, true maybe our grandparents and great parents great grandparents may have had the opportunity to do but most of us just move into a home that's already been built so what do you do to that you add furniture you add paintings you repaint the walls you personalize it but one of the last things that people think about doing is changing the floor and that is what a rug can do it's the fifth wall we have just as much opportunity to decorate a floor with a rug as you do a wall with wallpaper or paintings and so on, and it really personalizes your, your space. We specialize in designs that the QVC customer has told us for 25 years she loves. It's designs with flowers and vibrant colors, designs that other manufacturers think are um, too old fashioned. But and that's this, not what we see here. And like I said, we, my husband and I, we were traveling and we went into, we've been into different palaces around the world. Most recently, the one we went to was the British Royals Palace in Scotland. And they're, uh, they are very, they're, in my opinion, they're, you know, they have things that are hundreds of years old. They are beautifully right. decorated. One of the most amazing places I've ever been. And this is what their rugs look like. Right. And they can get anything in the world. Exactly. When you're royalty, exactly right. you can get whatever you want. People will make you that stuff. That is exactly right. Now, we did have a question for us that came through. Uh, we sure. get it online and we get it on Facebook. Are these non-skid or do they uh, do they slip around a little bit? Is there no, something that we should do uh, to, tell to, you to what, help with we'll, that? We'll go uh, even here on the on the five by seven. Now, this okay. is this is still kind of a, a pretty big rug. Um, I don't remember exactly how much it weighs, like maybe about 25 pounds or so. Um, but so big rug like this, let's just say you put this in a foyer and you have hardwood floors. Okay. My, my foyer is hardwood. I don't think I can fit a five by seven. I've always gone with the smaller rugs. Sure. But hardwood floors and you know, the, like they're nice and clean and you've just waxed them and all. Even something like a size of this rug can still kind of scoot a little bit. Okay. Um, on a, a slick, well not slick, but on a surface like even here in the studio. So because our rugs are backed with a cotton backing, these are not non-skid. That's why we offer our rug pads on QVC.com that you can put under this. Mm -hmm. And we have two types. The one for hard surface floors is okay. made out of a one eighth inch thick layer of latex. That's going to go under the rug. And you can actually, like a five by seven, you can have a rug pad that's four by six. All It'll right. still work fine. It'll hold the rug in place. If you have the runner over here and you have this on say kind of plush wall to wall carpeting, it doesn't slide like right. this on the carpeting, but what it does is it kind of, as you're walking on it and it kind of pushes into the carpeting, it'll creep. So like on Monday, it's here, but on Friday, <laughs> it's, it's kind of moved here. A right, back. it's moved right. a little bit back, right. Sure. So the, we don't, I mean, it's not really a pad, but what it is is a very thin film that's adhesive on both sides. Okay. And tack, that tackiness is gonna hold 
the rug to your wall to wall carpeting, but it's not glue. It's okay. not permanent. You want to pick it up and, and reposition it, move it from one room to another. You can absolutely do that. But while that film is underneath the rug, it's going to hold it in place. Well, and runners, you know, we're standing here talking about this runner. It's been very popular this morning. Um, you know, we put ours, we have one runner in our kitchen, kind of that goes right in the center. It's very decor-esque right now. It's kind of popular oh, in the Instagram world, if you will. And